hello good morning students this video is exclusively made so that uh, you will have uh, no problem in submitting your answer script in teams as you know that all your teachers will be sending uh, your question paper in teams in your teams channel subject channel which every teacher have uh, sent and there are two major issues uh, that is what we are coming across that is what we feel that you are experiencing the first issue is that many of you are not able to log into your teams you have logged in by using some other id please understand that you have to log into teams using the school id in fact the school id which you have must be used now as you can see here i have logged in uh, using one of the students id in fact the student uh, that i'm going to use actually is the student who is uh, in fact our x square she is no longer in our school uh, you can i'll just show you what the id is you can see here she is a student now you can see bhumika on the top you can see and by the way uh, i'll also be showing you actually how to check whether really you are using a school id or not that i'll do it later but then i have logged in here uh, as a student uh, as a student in fact now your teacher uh, in fact from the teachers uh, uh, channel i have made one demo channel and this student has been added there as a demo channel in fact uh, teachers now will be putting the assignment in your channels yeah, like for example if i am a science teacher then uh, you know that what happens is uh, now you can see on the particular time on a given time you know one notification has come you can see there uh, the notification has what has come from uh, uh, your uh, uh, teams now you can see in this activity if i open this activity then i think your teacher had already sent you a notification and that is what is uh, nine o'clock exactly at nine o'clock in the morning you know you can see assignment mentioned demo teams you can see there a demo team is what is mentioned so exactly on the dot of uh, uh, your time uh, nine o'clock you know this assignment is what will come here as a notification there in activity you can see in the activity look, look at the lower part red uh, uh, that one is written that activity so now your question paper has arrived now there are two ways of opening the, this uh, your question paper at 9 o'clock so either you just simply press that uh, uh, that uh, it's called it as highlighted assignment mentioned demo teams or you may go to directly assignment and click there in assignment and go to that particular see i think it will be a lot more easier for you to directly click this one so i'm going to click this uh, highlighted one the first one as you can see assignment mentioned so as i click this you can see there uh, since i had made in the demo team uh, the english language test and here uh, you can see the view assignment don't forget your assignment means it's not an assignment in fact your assignment actually is your question paper now if i want to see uh, my question paper then you can see what i'm going to do here i'm going to view now as i view uh, that uh, assignment uh, then you can see now your assignment will come now see uh, very very carefully there on the top english language is what is your uh, subject then if any instruction will be there then you will be seeing instruction there it is written none so teachers may be writing some instruction when to submit uh, what is the time given because now uh, you can see for this demo i have uh, uh, kept the due as 10 pm by the way uh, in fact i am making this uh, at uh, night so 9 pm is what i had actually you can see on the time on the top it is 901 it is in the evening in fact it is at night so but then you will see uh, due today uh, 10 pm but you will be seeing it due today 10 am is what you will be seeing there so that means due means the time that the teacher has allowed allowed you to submit the paper so so 10 o'clock is what you have to submit the paper so that means 10 o'clock is the time that you have to submit like some teacher may allow you till 10 15 some may allow you only till 10 some may allow you only till 9 45 so now depending upon that you know what happens actually is you have to submit within that due date so due date or due time so date will be that particular day only when the question paper you will be able to be, uh, see and that is very very important please understand that due today means today only is you have to submit by 10 a.m in the morning don't go by that pm okay because again i'm repeating i'm meeting, making this video at night so that's why that 10 pm is what is coming then by no means like for example i have made in this demo uh, uh, video in fact in this demo teams in this demo assignment i have made you can see closes today at 10 30 that means i have given you a half an hour window after 10 30 how much you try no matter what you do you will not be able to submit your work you will not be able to submit your answer script so that is why make sure that 
10 30 is what is the deadline an extra time that the teacher might give you half an hour here i might have scheduled it as half an hour some may give you only 10 minutes extra time some may give you 15 minutes some may give you a little more than half an hour also but here you can see half an hour is what i have given you but again if you are not able to submit by 10 30 your answer script pdf cannot be taken that is what is the meaning of that closes now what you'll do now see the demo question paper in fact i have not been any question there it's right only i have written answer the following and it is a demo question see i want to now see what is the question so you'll press the demo question paper pdf i'm going to press it now as i press depending upon how big your question paper is and how good your network is now you know your demo question paper is what is going to open now i think uh, here uh, you can see uh, it is opening There you can see demo question paper. Like on the top, it will be written English language. Then answer the following question, question number one, two, all those. But the, by the way, this this page contains nothing, okay? Because just for a demo only, I have made one question paper. So you'll be able to see the question paper now. Now take the paper, pen, uh, and then start writing the answers. You'll write the answers now. You'll keep on writing the answers. Now as you write the answers, now maybe after one hour when the time finishes, or maybe after 45 minutes if you have finished writing the answers all the answer script so what you will do you will take the photo do not forget to write your name in each and every pages take the photo a very clear photo i think uh, uh, take don't take the photo in such a way that again you know that uh, uh, it, uh, the teacher will not be able to read your uh, answers so take a very uh, clear photo uh, page wise page one page two page three page four how many pages that you have then what you do convert that those pages four pages into pdf i, I think last time only we taught you how to convert a, a jpg J, yeah, jpg means photo how to convert photo into pdf convert into a single file please understand that it's very very important that you cannot send four or five photos here you have to send one single pdf so convert into pdf now if possible then uh, i may make another video of uh, pdf here but then at such uh, uh, like in case uh, if I'm not able to make a new uh, video, then again I'll be posting that uh, last year's video okay, where we taught uh, in fact how to convert a JPG that is photo into PDF. Once you have converted to PDF, you definitely you will be saving that PDF somewhere on your device. Device means your phone. Now once you have done, now see I'm going back. See I'm going a back arrow. I'm pressing the back arrow. So as I press the back arrow, now you know my answer scripts are all ready. By the way, you can completely now shut down this one and later on again you can come back to assignment and uh, you will reach this spot. Now once a PDF is made, <coughs> by the way again I am repeating that you can go back, Okay, you can totally switch it off like for example home button I have pressed. Now I have come to home button then after that you can use the camera. So if you can use the camera, you can use the camera, click the photo then after that after clicking the photo and converting it to PDF then again later on what you can do, you can again go back to your uh, teams. Then you can see I am there at the same place as team. Now once your, uh, your uh, PDF is ready and you are ready to submit, now see it's very very important, there you can see just below the demo question paper you can see my work is written and then it is written add work. I want to send my PDF to my teacher. So then what I will do, yeah, I am going to press that add work. Now if I add that work then now you know, now the it will ask for you where you will find your answers where are you going to find that pdf that you have converted maybe it is there in the one drive one drive is your cloud drive microsoft has given every one of you have this one drive but you may not be knowing where or how to use it so better uh, don't even see that right now i think every one of you have saved in your phone so that's why you can see the last one last row that you can see upload from this device means definitely somewhere there in your device there as you press this there you can see now it will go for a file manager in my uh, phone so I have so many files in my phone but then different uh, phone has different file manager but definitely now see for convenience since I am looking for a PDF my phone has this uh, uh, document document means now it will uh, zero it onto, onto most of the I mean uh, uh, documents that you see here is only uh, a PDF one now I am searching for uh, that uh, answer script now the PDF answer script that I had made now I think here I have created you can see a, a demo answer you can see uh, on the right hand side or somewhere in the middle of the phone you can see a demo answer. So this list of suppose is the answer sheet I am going to submit here as I am pressing this now you can see it is a demo answer script. Now you can see it already got uploaded very quickly because uh, there in the answer script it was only one page and there in that page also I have written nothing. So it was a very small file that is why the uploading took very 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 uh, little time. 
do not forget do not uh, uh, lose your patience have patience like if your file is very big or if your network is very poor you know it will take time but there will be a blue a line which will be going from left to right just below that demo and script you might have seen a little while or you may uh, rewind it and see it one blue line moves from left to right so that is in fact the status of your uploading once it reaches to the right now you are ready then see on the top right hand side there is a turn in there turn in is written turn in means you are going to submit the paper now and please again i am repeating 10 o'clock is the submission time there according to this so if you are not submitting after after let's so call it if you are not submitting within 10 uh, am let's call it 10 o'clock in the morning uh, yeah. please ignore that pm okay so again i am uh, repeating that confusion should not be there it should be an am uh, because I am making the video in the, at night and so because of that only you know that PM is what you see there but there will be uh, 10 a.m. or 10.15 or uh, uh, maybe uh, 9.45 something like this is what you see if you are not submitting by 10 a.m. and if you turn in if you ten, turn in without, within 10 a.m. then it is okay everything is fine if you submit after 10 then the teacher will see that your submission is late Yes, you can stop it, but it will be written there uh, a late turn in. So that means you have given how many minutes late after 10. So uh, maybe 5 minutes late, 10 minutes late, 15 minutes. So immediately now your teacher will know what is the exact time and the exact minute late that you are submitting. So that's why you are recommended that you should submit uh, within the time which is given, that due time. Now, if anyone makes a mistake of not submitting within 10.30, anything between 10 to 10 30 you can submit but after 10 30 even if you try to you cannot turn in that turn in button only will not be there after 10 10 30 so that's why make sure that that closest closest time which is there there, there you can see that closest time 10 30 which is written you do not submit after 10 30 if you try to submit after 10 30 you know that very turn in button only is what will not be activated so that is why now you can see what happens when you turn in turn in means you are submitting now i'm still on time i'm only it is 909 only so in fact i have time to still uh, to go till uh, this one sorry it is only 909 only i have a lot of time uh, uh, for the submission but then if i submit then one animation will tell you that okay you can see here uh, now one animation will tell you there you can see that uh, uh, there you have already submitted so the monkey is actually swinging there so it has told you that <coughs> you have submitted by chance if you think that you have made some uh, mistake but you want to turn in again you can again go for an undo turn in but that it can be done only within the time only that uh, 10 o'clock time you have already turned in means you have already submitted the paper undo turn in means if you do that undo turn in so that means again what you have su submitted now it can be changed for example that add work which you have done you can uh, again uh, maybe you, you can do some correction and then you can upload again another work you can uh, uh, delete this uh, this uh, the previous PDF that you have done. So then again, I am going for a turn in now. So I am going to turn in means I am going to again submit it. So I have submitted within time. That is what you are supposed to do. Please understand that if you are submitting after the close time. So like for example, if you are submitting after 10 30 according to my demo video. So then uh, you have to understand that you will not be able to submit. The teacher will not allow. In fact, the whole uh, your uh, software only is not going to allow you to submit. So make sure that you submit within. Uh, that uh, time closing time yes you can submit after due time yes but then it will go as a late in late turn in late turn in means you are late by how many minutes it will go but if you are trying to submit it after that uh, closest time or closing time then you cannot submit now i'll also show you what happens with another student login now i'll show you now uh, 10 30 what will happen what kind of thing you will be seeing that turn in that turn in on the top right you will not be available only now when uh, you try to submit uh, uh, the your assignment or your answer script after the closing time that also i'm going to show you now you can see that i have logged in uh, with another student's id you can see now this is another one it is very well you can see uh, he is also there in that same demo team I want to show you what will happen uh, when he opens the assignment. Now you can see this is the assignment. Now if uh, he is opening it, now you can see still turn in is active there on the top. But now after the time turns 10 o'clock, you can see that 9.59 it is. I am waiting for some time. Once it turns 10 o'clock, then what will happen? So let us go there. We will come back and again uh, we will uh, go back to this space. Now it's still turning. He will be able to submit his uh, paper. 
even at 10 o'clock, even if it passes 10 o'clock, but still he will be able to submit, but then you will see that the turn in will turn into late turn in. So you are submitting it late because of time. Now you can see it has turned 10 o'clock. So uh, do not forget that till 10.30 you will be able to submit according to this uh, schedule. But then again uh, after 10.30 you will not be able to submit. That also I am going to show you. But still turn in is what is active there now. Uh, now let's come back again. Now you can see there. There you can see now since it is 10 o'clock now it is turn late, turn in late. That means now you are late. So yes, you will be able to submit. Now the teacher will know that you have submitted it late. How many late, uh, minutes late? How many seconds late? Or how many? But then definitely between 10 to 10:30 you will be able to submit. But after 10:30, that also I am going to show you. After 10:30, what will happen? So then uh, now also you will be able to submit. For example, now you can if I go to add work, I will do the same thing again. Upload from this device. Then I can upload anything. Let's suppose uh, I am uploading. Uh, this uh, class 9 maths, the file is a little bigger one. Look at that blue line, okay? So now you can see there is a small blue line. Now see all of a sudden now the blue line, that means it has been uploaded. So now in fact I uploaded uh, that uh, uh, last year's uh, uh, paper. Uh, so it was a half yearly paper, so I uploaded it. So just uh, to show you that, now you can, now I am going for that turn in late. That means you can see there, there I am going to press it now, turn in late. So then you can see now it is submitted now. The animation is showing that you have submitted. But you have turned in late. Now the teacher will be knowing that you have given uh, him the uh, paper late. But still you will be able to submit. Okay, I will also be showing now in the next video what will happen when you try to submit after that closing time. That is 10.30 is the closing time. So after 10.30, so I am waiting for half an hour more. So to show you actually what happens, whether that... Uh, uh, late turn in will be still active or not and I am going to do that with the third student. One more student is there in my de demo uh, team. I am going to show you with that particular student. Now I am going to the third student now. Uh, that is uh, an Asif uh, Jaman. He also is our ex student. And uh, now I am going to show you because now the time is 10.30. Now uh, this assignment, even he got this assignment. Now let us see uh, what happens uh, like if he is trying to submit. Now I am going to his assignment, the same assignment. There it is, his assignment. Uh, I am going to that his assignment. Then now you can see I am going to view the assignment. So as uh, he is viewing the assignment, he will be able to see the assignment. But look at the top right. Now there is no turn in now. There you can see now somewhere just below the demo team is it can not turn in because now the time is 10.31. That very option to submit the paper will not be there. So that's why make sure that uh, you submit your paper before the closing time. So uh, if you are trying to submit after the closing time, your teacher will tell you what is the closing time or in the assignment itself you will be knowing what is the closing time. So make sure that you submit before the closing time yeah please understand that before your exam uh, learn how to convert uh, the photo after clicking the photo you have to convert into a single pdf okay so maybe four pages five pages uh, six pages you have to convert into a single pdf then only you have to upload in that uh, my work which i have already discussed before so hopefully now every one of you understood uh, uh, what is to be done uh, during your exam during your uh, test this is what we are going to follow not only for the editors for the terminal examination as well as also for the annual exam we will be following the same uh, method so make sure uh, that uh, uh, you try it before uh, the start of uh, your exam so all the best for the exam so i am winding up the video